Hello and welcome to week three of English 111 online from Shaw University. Week three. This is a third of the way through. No, half the way through. By the time the end of this week, we'll be halfway done through this semester. What? Yeah, fast. All right, so here's your checklist of things you're going to be doing this week. Whoa. Okay, some of these are just short videos, so don't get too freaked out about it. You're watching week three video right now, so that's the first thing you're doing. Um, after you're done watching this video, then there's just a few other videos. None of them are very long. One of them is the, the speak video. There's a, a, a tool on Microsoft Word which allows you to have the computer read back to you what you have written. And it's a great tool that I personally use um, when it comes to revising. And again, since we're going to be um, submitting a final draft of your narration paper this week, uh, revision is important. There's also a short little video here that just um, kind of the refresher on the, on the difference between first, second, and third person. Your narrative paper should have been in first person. Um, if you have used second person, which some of you did, this video right here um, will show you how to find and fix second person fairly easily. So these are all just tools to help you be able to get a really good grade on your narrative paper. So again, if you, uh, watch the speak video, first, second, third person video, and how to find and uh, fix second person. Again, these videos are also found up here under resources. So at any time, if you click on resources, all of these videos are found as it's loading up. Woo! All these videos and more are found up here. So these are designed to help you. Yes. Excellent. Um, also, while we're here, there is a Grammarly website. Um, which is a free website, which you can go to. It can also help you with your grammar. So, yeah, there's that good stuff. So let's take a look at more at week three. So last week for week two, we wrote, um, I want to say we, I mean you, huh? wrote your narrative papers. You uploaded it here, and you should have uploaded the rough draft here and gotten feedback from your uh, peers. Okay, And then I also told every single one of you that you should have contacted the writing center, okay, the writing center is right here. You can call them and they can do it over the phone or they can do it online. So even if you're not on campus, they can help you um, and they will help you with your paper. They're not going to fix it for you, make it all perfect. Um, just because you call them and get help doesn't mean you're going to get a perfect score. They will help you learn what you need to do, but again, it's on you. Um, just a note on that because I have had students who say, I don't get it. Why did I not get 100? I went to the writing center. Well, then we went to the Writing Center, and we looked at what the Writing Center told them to do, and they didn't do it. So, it's not just enough to go to the Writing Center. You actually have to do what they tell you to do to make your, better, uh, your paper better. So, all right. So, you watched all these videos, and then you have to submit the final draft of Paper 1. Again, so you've taken your rough draft. You've written it. I've given you feedback. You should have gotten feedback from your peers. You take this, and you go through, and you clean it up. You have to make changes, Okay. A rough draft is just kind of a way to get started. You've got to go back, make changes, and make it better. When you get it done, then you're going to upload it here. Now, this has got a little bit of a different icon because this is where it goes through the plagiarism filter. And I'll show you how that works in just a second. But be careful. Again, make sure you upload it as a doc or a docx file. Okay, And you have to be very careful you upload the correct file. There are some students who don't finish the paper on time and they... Oops, accidentally submit the rough draft and say, oh, i sorry, I, I uploaded the wrong one. Well, guess what? Uh, that's a trick that I am aware of, and that's not good. So if you, upload the, if you do not <laughs> upload the correct file, you will earn a zero on the assignment if you don't do the following. If you upload the wrong file, including your rough draft, make sure you submit the correct file. Double, triple check. Okay? If there are not significant changes between your rough and the final draft, this is part of the writing process. Okay, writing process is you get ideas, you write them, and then you revise them. Okay, so if you've just written it once and you haven't revis revised it, that's a problem. Also, if you have plagiarized any part of your essay, you will get a zero. What's plagiarism? Go back and watch this video right here to remind you what plagiarism is. Okay. So, to submit your narration paper, you click on this, and doo -doo -doo. again, there's the same information. Now, uh, you would then click Submit Paper. Submit Paper, see that little thing? You click on this, and it will say, okay, what do you want to give it? Give it a title, and call it 
Jason's final draft of the narration paper. Oops, paper. And then you could find your paper, like over here, and then drag it and drop it. Go woo woo, like that. And then you would add submission. Okay? So you have to make sure you do that. Make sure you click on add submission. Hello, Ryan. We see your paper there. That's okay. I'm not actually going to upload Ryan's, so don't get excited about that. But that's how you do it. But make sure you click add submission. Again, what happens then is that I will get it and it will show me um, if you've plagiarized it. Now, how do you earn a grade on this paper? Well, there's this thing right here called the rubric right here. If you click on this, it'll pull up the rubric. Da, 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 da. Okay, the English 111 narration paper. So this is exactly how I grade it. Okay, it needs to be in MLA formatting. Okay, if you have no problems, you get 10 points on that. If there's one to three issues, four to six issues, you get marked down. Page length, you need to have a certain page length. Thesis, I need to, it needs to be very clear. What is this paper about? Okay, grammar issues, lots of points here. Okay, that's where most people are going to lose their points. You, you know, if you lose, have one to four grammar mistakes, 12, you know, you lose some points. Five to nine, you lose some points. Okay, uh, tense and point of view. Okay, again, this is a story. It should be told in first person, past tense. It needs to be used throughout the paper. So if you're saying, I begin to drink water, well, no, that's, that's present tense. You know, I began to drink water. Or and you shouldn't use also like second person, which is, um, you love to go on vacation. No, I don't. Yes, actually, I do. But don't use you or yours. Okay, so tense from point of view, that's also important. And then the subject. Um, basically, that uh, you were given one of two prompts to write. And it needs to basically address one of those prompts. If you start writing about, oh, I don't know, what's wrong in America, and uh, you really go off on it, or maybe you're very anti-abortion or something, okay, well, that's not really what this paper is about. This is a story. And again, if you go back to the narration prompt, it'll show you what you need to write about. So that's how you figure out how you're going to get graded. There's that. Close. All right, let's go back to week three. So what else is going on in week three? You think, well, isn't that enough? Well, yes, it would normally be enough if we were doing a normal semester, but this is a super duper sped up version. So now that we've completed the narration paper, it is now to switch time to go to the next paper. Already? I know, yes. It is gonna be on compare contrast. So the next paper, which is paper two, is another paper, compare contrast paper. So you'd watch this lecture. It explains what compare contrast is. Um, have you watched this uh, video? Again, it explains the importance of MLA formatting. It kind of drives that home. Um, this video right here explains basically the structure of how to format, um, basically the format you're going to use for your compare contract, uh, sorry, compare contrast lecture paper. This will show you the structure of how to do that. So again, none of these are very long. Um, then you actually have your assignment. So let's take a look at the assignment. Okay. So we click on this and that loads it up. Okay, so basically, ooh, it's kind of hard to read. Wow. You're going to select two subjects. Then you will choose at least three ways which these subjects will be compare contrasted. The overall topic of the paper should be something which interests you, yet should be appropriate for a college paper. The paper will consist of an opening paragraph which introduces the topic as well as including the thesis statement. If you don't know what this is talking about, that video that says that it'll explain the breakdown will show you how to do it. Um, the following paragraphs will use point-by-point -point organization. Again, the lecture shows you how to do that. And then you'll have a concluding paragraph, okay? And then these are the things that we're going to be looking for. Do you have a thesis statement? What the heck is a thesis statement? Watch the video on the lecture, okay? Um, does it have a hook? You need to have some way that it starts off interesting. Is there at least three body paragraphs? What? Again, watch the videos on how to do this, and it'll make sense. So you just kind of go through this, and again, it needs to be in MLA style. So there is that, um, that's the, the assignment for the paper, and you just kind of go through to make sure you do all this stuff, and you're like, well, I don't know how to do any of this stuff. Well, you will after you actually read the chapters in uh, the book, and you watch these, especially these two right here. These two videos will explain, and I'll be like, oh, I get it now. Okay. To make it even easier for you, I have actually uploaded a compare-contrast example paper. So if you're wondering what a compare contrast example paper should look like, this is it. Ta-da! So this is kind of what an example would look like for a compare contrast paper with my notes and everything like that. Okay. 
So that will show you. It's like, oh, I get it. Okay, and it's even in proper MLA formatting. Imagine that. So we'll say goodbye to that. Okay, let's go back to week three. And then, of course, we have MindTap. So, so, yeah, fun times, busy times this week. So, again, you have a bunch of videos to watch. All of them will design to help you. These up here are designed to help you with your um, revision of this paper. Then you shift gears and you watch these videos to figure out how to do the next paper, which is compare contrast. Um, you got to start working on compare contrast wah, because the rough draft is due the next following Monday. Oh, my goodness. And then you have also MindTap. So that's it. Lots of stuff going on this week. This is kind of the, the heart of what's going on. So, um, again, play, uh, don't play catch up. Like, do a little bit every single day if you can because uh, it'll help you quite a bit. Again, none of these videos are super long. And, uh, yeah, you'll be in good shape. All right. Go ahead and.